And we're back before the next <laughs> thing loaded. We're still so. waiting for it to load. It's been a few days. So am I still waiting <laughs> for this road to stop? For this world to stop hitting. I always thought it was road when I was a kid. Yeah, Mark's uh, singing to us now. Mm-hmm. No more than 10 seconds, though. Oh, is this our journalist friend? Luca? What's his name? I think so. That just came to me. <laughs> Is he an accent now? You got like a cowboy thing going on. There's a Johnny Depp right here. I was about to say, he does, <laughs> he does have a Johnny Depp. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> he is the only person that would grab onto that shit like that. Turn around and go bingo. I don't know you uh, like Luca so much. No, he's, he's pretty baller. <laughs> I don't use baller this often, but this is pain at us. So. This is pain at us. I feel like they turned everything up. Like, they curse oh. more, oh, there's yeah, more like, funny shit. They push everything to 11. But they were at 10 before, so yeah, it's not yeah, like a huge... Yeah, they were already at 10, so it's not... Made of Berlin, also known as Diamond. He's definitely Johnny Depp. He spent some time in France. He became French. <laughs> like. Will you quit calling me that? I'm not a pet or a cat. Oh wait. Why does he look like Otacon here? Yeah, he does sort of look like Otacon. <laughs> I always forgot about that. Oh, is that the glasses she need? He needs in order to see her. Uh, I don't. I don't remember that. From the he used to only be able to see her when he wore um, Sirius's glasses. Uh. I do not believe that he reports on anything that he sees. You know the story better than anyone. The Umbra witches and the Lumen Sages, two clans that wielded incredible power just 500 years ago. The clans of the Overseer, washing over us all with the eyes of the world, the power to govern light and darkness. That was a thing from the last game. But now I know that there really was an Overseer. And this Overseer is the one who created the eyes of the world for humanity. The same ones that the clans held on to so hard. The Overseer was the true creator. The true god of the human realm. The god of chaos. God damn it, every time, because of the font, I, I see Grod instead of God. <laughs> the Grod of chaos. <laughs> I'm cool with that. The Gorilla Grod of chaos. <laughs> That's why this place has gateways to each realm of the Trinity of Realities. Oh, fuck them, the Trinity of Realities. Yeah, this La dude showed up so. just to fucking dump exposition. <laughs> yeah. Like, remember me? He's got a shave. I'm not digging that. Yeah. Listen, I heard about you. His hat does not look like it's on him. He's got that hat wobble going on. Yeah. Those girls did all the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what? I... <laughs> What is that supposed to mean in that context? I don't know. What's this magical music playing? <laughs> yeah, I totally feel like this would be like a Disney film. A <laughs> Disney if film. If it were to be made. Yeah, Johnny Depp. The word motherfucker being used constantly. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Yeah, a little flying squirrel. Oh, I forgot about his little grapple thing. Oh, yeah. He's garbage. <laughs> oh, break all this furniture. Hey, what? In, in the words of, of Limp Biscuit, break stuff. <laughs> well, that was Limp Biscuit, right? You know what? I don't care. 
Yeah. Can you break? I can't break the the giant gondola. The gondola. The gondola. The granola. I love the people who just run, even though they're in a different reality. Yeah, I have no idea how, like, what they're even seeing. They're just like confused. I understand the one dude who, like, I broke his bench that he was sitting on and just ran yeah. for his life, but that makes total sense because, like, you're sitting on a bench and the bench it is just gone. blew up. What were the red lollipops? It's a kitty. I forgot. Um, Let's see if that dude runs. Oh, he just <laughs> grovels. Oh, shit, there's one over here. You force the kitten into- no. The kitten just I'm, has to fight. I'm not gonna force a kitten to do anything. Though. Yeah, I'm not gonna force a kitten to do anything either. <laughs> Kittens are cute. I recently saw for the first time a uh, white red fox. Red fox being the name of the species. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like a real life Moogle. You only deal damage with enemy weapons. Oh, ah, good uh, thing they give you some. That's a good one. Not that. Okay, this one. Hey, I picked it up. Yeah, if you gotta pick, you use Y. It's a gun? Oh, okay, so you use that one up. That looked very useful. Too bad people in position better. Up, oh, ran out. Yeah, the usage of this drains really quickly, so you have to like make sure all your hits count. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you okay. get more. Okay. Shit. You mind if I do that one again? I have no problem with that. I want to teach these guys a lesson. Yes. That I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no diggity, no doubt, man. <laughs> no diggity, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Gotta back it up. Whoa. Uh, yeah, that was a deep bird play. I'm forgetting what the actual lyrics were. Oh, okay. There's no need for that, dude. Oh, shit. What is that thing? Is this a crossbow? I guess. So you just, like, blew through that this time. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about that. It was that song, No Diggity, No Doubt. Oh, yeah. So, it's kind of funny because Bayonetta has something in common with FF13. And that's, what? Like, that's like really mean to say. Oh, hold on, hold on. Make sure. It's just the. This is being recorded. Is this being recorded? It is being recorded. For posterity? Right in the middle of that episode. I, I want to so, bring, bring this up later. So, it's just that um, you can fail miserably in a fight in Bayonetta and the next time like go into it like a like um, a sharper mind and just wreck the person um. nothing having changed and in the case of FF13 uh, 13 has been times where like I wipe in like 30 seconds flat and then all of a sudden I'm like wait I have to do this this and this and all of a sudden boom like the person's ass is getting handed to him so in that respect, it's similar. In all other ways, very different. Except I can imagine a character who is a witch with butterfly wings in 13. But there'd be no context to why there'd be a character like that. I, uh, I can never take your opinion at face value. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go this way? I don't know. Should I go back and see if there's something there? I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this much. If I had... Um, the ability to... You're underwater, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, if I had the ability to walk underwater, I would always take the underwater route. Because that's cool. Oh, I just found this. <laughs> I wonder if she's ever learned to swim. That might be useful in scenarios like this. Why can when you can just run? I mean... Yeah, but there's like like three dimensions of movement that you can move in. Oh yeah. So 
Might as well be able to go up really well as well. It's weird, like, the game looks pretty, but, like, some things look yeah. overly simplistic and reminds you of, like, a Dreamcast game. Yeah. Or, like, a PS2, like, a good-looking PS2. Yeah. In an after. Oh, this is a new one. Uh, yep. Whoa. Oh, okay, does he make these dudes, like, angry? Yeah, not gonna do that I mean, it looks like he smells. I don't know why. <laughs> he does look like a smelly animal. Yeah. It looks like a... Like a, just a weird... I don't know. Anything that can clap itself has the potential to smell, I guess. I don't know what that means, but go, go ahead with your hate. I have go no more... I have no <laughs> hateful language. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I you see don't how know these in rap. You don't know what they've been through. I actually thought you killed him already. I didn't know that he just like pops around, right? Uh, no, there's more of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, so shouldn't Luca also... Uh, Luca and Enzo appear to you in the same way that these dudes do? Uh, or am I missing something? You're probably missing something. Technically, anybody in New York should have looked that way, but they didn't. I feel bad for these guys, but it's not my fault. <laughs> it kind of is. But the fact that they, like, make their shit out of halos is... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I got that. We just noticed... It, they're sonic rings. Really. Yeah. My holographic card. <laughs> Someone bent it. Like Blue Eyes it. White Dragon. Oh, the battery's dying. Oh, is it? Let me get you that. Uh... My Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> Did you ever uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh? Hell no. I didn't even play Pokemon. Oh, you're that it. cool? Oh, yeah. I was a cool kid. <laughs> you might have to lean forward for this. Plugs in the top. So why why no interest in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Too too old for that? Uh, now? No, like when it was uh, popular. Back, oh, I used to watch the show occasionally. It was alright. Oh, mama. This is crazy. I think that was showing off in E3. At the uh, treehouse shit. Did he just turn into a squirrel again? I think he did. The room of prayer. Oh. Hardly constitutes a room anymore. Was I supposed to kill him? What? The crow that I just pulled? Oh, yeah. I forgot how you're supposed to get those. I don't know if you sneak up on them or you shoot them. There, it was back. What, what was that stance? Uh, I caught a number in crow. Oh, okay. So that's how we get stamped in this game. How are we doing on time? Oh, it's the end of the episode. So, we'll see you next time on Distract Mode Plays, where we'll be playing more Bayonetta 2.